Scribble explores the world. Scribble opened her eyes. Her whole world seemed to be these two pages. She looked all around, then she walked all around, and tripped through a rip and onto two new pages. Scribble's world was much bigger than she had first thought. Scribble found a round, bouncy thing and decided to take it on her journey. She hoped to find even more wonderful pages. Scribble turned over onto a page with a mountain. Scribble was beginning to wonder if there were any other Scribbles like her. The pages were great, but she would love to share the world with someone else. Then she slid down a slide and into the next page where she found a strange emptiness. It was the great pencil, cried a little smudge in the middle of the page. Scribble had finally found someone. The great pencil, she asked. It makes corrections, said Smudge. Scribble frowned. What is corrections, she asked. Getting rubbed out, said Smudge. I was a dog's tail. The great pencil came. Dog ran away and I got smudged. I know, said Scribble. Let's find dog. And they hopped on to the next page. They floated across a lake and listened as water lap, lap, lapped against the boat. They pushed through two pages of lines and found lots of half-finished drawings. Scribble thought that Dog must have been very scared to run so far away. Smudge sniffed. And as they turned onto the next page, there was Dog trying very hard to hide behind a purple triangle. Scribble smiled. Hello, she said. Are you Dog? Dog yelped and ran away. Come back, yelled Scribble. Dog woofed and kept on running. Wait, called Smudge, I was your tail. They explained that Dog's tail had become Smudge. Dog was delighted and licked Smudge all over. Let's keep exploring, said Scribble, and they turned the page. Dog was so excited to meet Smudge and Scribble. Dog had been scared, but now Dog was happy. And please, 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 could Dog play with Scribble's ball? This, asked Scribble, holding up the round thing. Woof, said Dog. Scribble threw the ball for Dog and Dog chased it right into the great pencil. It turned towards Scribble, Smudge and Dog. The great pencil was much bigger than Scribble had imagined. As it got closer, Scribble started to shake. Dog dropped the ball and woofed, and they all tumbled and tripped over the pages. The great pencil chased them across wibbly-wobbly curves. Smudge sniffed, woof, woof, dog. I like being a scribble, shouted Scribble. The book was almost over. I'm sorry, said Scribble. You were better off hiding. Dog licked Scribble's face. You brought us back together, said Smudge, and they bounded onto the last two pages. There was nowhere left to go. The great pencil seemed to look at them for a moment. And then it drew a picnic. The great pencil made all sorts of colourful swirls across the page. I like being a scribble, said Scribble. Smudge sniffed. Woof, said Dog. And they sat together at the end of the world, eating lovely things and gazing across the page. This has been a reading of Scribble Explores the World, written by Rebecca Stirrup, illustrated by Gillian Marriott, published by Geeky Girl Publishing, read by Becky Stirrup, and available to purchase on Amazon.co.uk for the grand old sum of £6.99. This book is dedicated to Jessica, who loves to draw scribbles.